let us say we wanted to find out sine of 15 degrees or say cos of 75 degrees or sine of 105 degrees we usually know the trigonometric ratios for these standard angles 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees and of course 0 degrees but how do we find these now if we look closely 15 can be represented by 45 minus 30 75 can be written as 45 plus 30 whereas 105 can be written as 60 degrees plus 45 degrees and these are all standard angles for which we know the trigonometric ratios so when we want to find the sine or cos of such angles we make use of a formula let us look at this formula let's let's first go to sine of 15 degrees let's write 15 degrees as 45 minus 30 so 15 degrees can be written as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees and the formula says that when you have sine of some angle minus the other angle let's just label it as a and b for now the formula is sine of the first angle times the cos of the other angle which is 30 degrees because we have a minus sign here let's put minus sign let me just erase this part here and then once we put minus then we go back to the first angle but write cos cos of 45 degrees times the sine of the other angle sine of 30 degrees now this formula only involves the trigonometric ratios sine and cos for the standard angles that we know and we can see that this is nothing but sine a cos b minus cos a sine b so sine and cos appear in tandem with together in multiplication when we have to find the sine of subtraction of two angles and because we have a negative sign because this is a subtraction we also have a subtraction inside the formula let us try and find out the answer here then so sine 45 degrees is 1 over root 2 times cos of 30 is root 3 by 2 minus cos of 45 is 1 over root 2 times sine 30 is 1 by 2 this gives me root 3 by 2 root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and this is the exact answer root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 and that's basically sine of 15 degrees now let us solve for cos of 75 degrees let's just write 75 degrees as 45 plus 30 so inside the bracket we will write cos of let me just create some space here again so cos of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees and let us try to solve this the formula says when it's cos and addition of the angles the formula is something like this cos of first angle then in multiplication cos of another angle which is 30 degrees and if there is plus sign here we will put negative sign here and now sine of the first angle so sine of 45 degrees times sine of the other angle so formula is a little different when it's a sign or cos of addition or a subtraction of the angles remember the sign reappears in the formula for sine but sine reverses the positive turns into negative when it's cos let us solve this so cos of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2 times cos of 30 is root 3 by 2 minus sine of 45 is 1 over root 2 times sine of 30 is 1 by 2 this gives me root 3 by 2 root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 which is again root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 so cos of 75 degrees is same as sine of 15 degrees let us also solve for sine of 105 degrees let me just create some more space here so we want sine of 105 degrees which can be written as sine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees now i want you to remember the formula with me and since it's a sine we will have sine and cos in multiplication and the sine will be plus so sine of the first angle sine of 60 degrees times cos of the another angle which is 45 degrees plus now the plus will reappear we will have cos of the first angle which is 60 degrees times sine of the other angle 45 degrees and this gives me sine of 60 as root 3 by 2 times cos of 45 is 1 by root 2 plus cos of 60 is 1 by 2 and sine of 45 is 1 by 2 root 2 again this gives me the answer as root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 and this is how we solve for 
trigonometric ratios of angles like 15 degrees, 75 degrees, 105 degrees, etc. Let's just quickly overview the formulae for sine and cos a plus minus b. So let us write these again. So sine of a plus b is sine of a times cos of b plus because we have a plus sign in between a and b then we write cos of a times sine of b. Now what is sine of a minus b? Only thing will change from the first formula to the second formula here is the sign. Everything else remains the same for sin a minus b. Right? So sin a cos b in multiplication. Now a minus sign and then cos a sin b. Remember in sin a plus b we can write cos a times sin b before sin a plus cos b because this is addition but when it's subtraction remember the sign appears for cos a sin b. If you are confused you can also write sin a minus b as sin of a plus minus b and you can treat this as another angle and then put minus b everywhere and because we can write this as sin a times cos of minus b then plus because we still have plus here cos of a times sin of minus b. Cos of minus b is equal to cos of b so sin doesn't change here but sin of minus b is minus sin b so this sign goes on here and that's why we have a negative sign where there is sin b. Remember that so this will be like this. Now let's go for the next formula cos of a plus b. Now cos of a plus b whenever we have a cos and addition and subtraction of the angles both causes and signs will appear together in multiplication. So cos a cos b in multiplication first we need to write minus and then sin a sin b and when it comes to cos of a minus b the sign turns into plus everything else remains the same cos a cos b plus sin a sin b and this is how these formulas can be remembered. If you still get confused and if you remember certain terms of the formula try and assume values for a and b. What I usually do is I assume a equal to 30 degrees and b equal to 60 degrees. Try to verify whatever formula that I have written. It almost always correctly verifies whether you have written correct formula for the given expression. I would like to give you an exercise while we end this video. Try to assume a and b to be equal. So both the angles become a and see how these formulas change. Also try and add or subtract any of these formulas and see if you can get some interesting results.